Welcome everybody to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Gleipnir episode 11. Last episode, Claire hatched her crazy plan to burn all those fucking flowers to <laughs> smoke out the enemy and uh, literally smoke them out as in they're dead. <laughs> they're out cold now. Uh, or at least some of them are. Hopefully. And um, Gorilla Man seemed extremely distraught over that and was willing to sacrifice himself and let everyone else go, but then they ran to his rescue, and, uh, our group fucking is out of there, they're not even, they're not messing around, they're completely gone, uh, so we'll see, sorry, one second, yeah, there we go, so we'll see what happens to them as things progress, whether they got away, whatever, I saw a, kind of a spoiler, I guess, to that in a thumbnail for this episode, but, ready to get into this, is there anything you want to say before we get started, any observations, any predictions? about the story so far. I don't know. I'm I'm really liking it. I feel I mean it's probably going to do something completely different. I'm going to regret saying this, but I feel like it's finally hit its stride. Like it's sort of No, it's okay. All good. Like it just sort of it knows what it's doing. There there was that one episode where it was just like half naked girls for the whole episode. There was other episodes where it was like crazy fights. Mm -hmm. And now it's just kind of normal. Yeah. And I'm really liking it. Mm -hmm. Like at the when we first watched the show, we were like, oh, this is weird and interesting and a, l a little bit too weird yeah. sometimes. But now it's just, like, an interesting show. Yeah. And I hope I don't regret <laughs> saying that and it's going to just just smack us in the face <laughs> in these last couple episodes. Yeah, I guess to go off of that, I'm kind I agree with that sort of viewing of, of how everything's going. But I don't really like it. Because, like, I... I feel like, yeah, the show was trying to, like, find its footing, and I feel like, um, early on, it was far more, like, mysterious, and it feels, mm -hmm. it felt like we were on, like, a crazy journey, or, like, on a mission, now it just kind of feels like we're, it's a real defensive game, and they're, they, they started out all piss and vinegar, and, like, making all these connections, and doing all this stuff, but now, for the last few episodes, it feels like they've just kind of been messing around. Yeah. It feels like, and it feels like there is a bigger thing going on. And that's fine for, like, the greater story, but it, it, where, I'm, where I'm at in the story right now is I feel like a lot of what's happening is kind of a foregone conclusion. I'm not super surprised or impacted by a lot of the stuff that's going on because it feel that, that sense of, like, we're living on the edge and we're, like, uh, figuring shit out and we're moving forward. It feels like that's kind of lost mm -hmm. and uh, now we're just sort of, it, it feels way more normal, you know what I mean? Yeah, I... Like, all the stuff with the big gorilla man and all his group, it felt it felt a lot uh, more basic than the show was, like, setting up for. Yeah. Especially with all the aliens and stuff. Like, they, they turned... It, it felt like, to me, like, the, there was this crazy mystery about how all the shit was going on. And uh, it was really confusing and kind of interesting. But then they... It, it feels like they just sort of devolved it down to a power struggle over finding, like, the Dragon Balls, essentially. Like, a, a really basic, find all these things to get a wish, to gain all this power, etc. We have to find it before they do. Ticking clock, etc., etc. And there's more stuff to find out, and there's all... The most intriguing thing, I'll say, and I think one the main reason why I'm uh, sort of falling out of love with the show is... Um, the most interesting thing about the show to me is Shuichi's character and his perspective on everything. Yeah. And he's definitely fallen to the wayside, or at least his uh, input. I feel like there's been a lot of growth, but I haven't fully appreciated it because there hasn't been a lot of focus. So hopefully we get more of that this episode. Mm -hmm. um, but that's kind of my perspective on it. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I've been sort of in and out feeling the show here and there, but... I think it's because I haven't been getting enough of Shuichi's development, and I, I, I really want yeah, to see more of that. Yeah, we really like character. Yeah. So and like a, a good solid, like storyline and like flesh out characters. So, but it seems like we've taken a back. Like we're like now instead of we're like we're on this journey with the characters. Now we're viewing it from like a third person yeah. perspective, which is okay. But I kind of wish that the whole thing had been like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it was a bit more consistent. But I understand it's, like, the first season, and it's a short season, so they're they're figuring out... They're mm -hmm. going with the shock factor up front and hoping yeah. people stay. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people didn't stay. These videos That's the are, thing. Exactly, like, yeah. Are, these videos were doing, like, 
normal. As good as, as Tower good as, of God, yeah. basically, and, in the beginning. And then uh, everyone dropped off, and not just for our channel. For, for everyone. For everyone. For all reactors, it seems like interest in the show completely fell off around episode six or seven. But just, just before, it started to, like... Get into this, groove, yeah. get into this groove. So, um, it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Um, and I mean, if we hadn't been watching this as a reaction, I don't, I don't, I, I might have stuck it out, but I would probably have just waited till the series was over and yeah, binged, binged it. it. Yeah, that's probably what I would have done as well. I probably would have caught up once it was all over. Yeah. Um, which maybe that's what people are doing. They're just like maybe that's what they're doing, yeah. but. I don't know. It ju it's just it's just really too bad. Mm -hmm. I know this is a long intro. This but... is a long intro, but I feel like it's kind of needed because we usually save these thoughts for the end, and by that time, our perspective kind of shifts. And like, but you know, this is all obviously with the knowledge that we're pro that we might find some find out something different in this episode that changes our perspective. But uh, yeah, that's that's where we're at. I guess we can just get started on that. Yeah. Unless you had something one more. Yeah, thing I was to just add. gonna say like the, the kind of disappointing thing about the show is like. Usually in, like, a, a basic plot, it's, like, this is how the world is. It's, like, stasis, you know? And then something happens that changes that. And it's, like, the introduction of this these coins and these monsters. Mm -hmm. And so that so that changes the root of what, what the world is like and what the... For just for... Even for just the characters, what Shuichi's world looks like. Mm -hmm. But it seems like it's, like, drop... Like, usually at the end of a story, they, like, find a new normal it, but it feels like the show has like gone into that like conclusionary new normal Way but it's earlier. but it's n but it's nowhere near the end yeah yeah i i'd say that too and i'd also say that the introduction took a long time because the inciting i don't know what you would consider the inciting incident to be but i would say them starting on the path to like getting uh th them finding a goal which was find all the coins yeah um happened really far in it was a, the introduction to the story and establishing all the relationships took a long time yeah um, i i feel yeah. like if this had been because it seems like it's almost like that first part was almost like a prequel not yeah. not necessarily like a full-on like years in the future prequel but like the story before the story the small story before this crazy story and i feel like if the first season had just been about claire and shuichi and a few other of their friends at school and a bit, a bit more rooted in, like, what they would call their normal, mm -hmm. everyday lives. And, like, the climax had been finding Elena. Th that Something like been, that. Yeah, the, the just, reordering of events in the show has been has been a, a big I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we hadn't read it, so who knows what what's going on. But it just... I, I just get frustrated because I see so much potential in, like, the story and the characters and their relationships. Mm hmm but it just falls flat a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll we'll start there. Uh, so that's where we're at with the show. I feel like it's it's necessary to say because yeah, a lot of th these videos have been doing increasingly worse and worse with each week. It seems like. Um, so and you know that's not going to detract us from continuing. We're not going to drop the show just because it's not getting as many views as other shows. We're all, we're in this deep. We're we are enjoying it. Um, but we do have criticisms of it and, uh, we do understand why people would stop watching it because yeah. it's, uh, there, there, are, there are a lot of things that we can get into. Anyway, that's our perspective on it. So hopefully you enjoyed our extra long intro here. Um, make sure you check out our previous Gleipnir reaction, uh, on our channel and all the other ones we got. If you're finding this for the first time, I don't know if something crazy happens this episode or what. Um, also we're going to hit 5k today, probably, <laughs> or tonight, uh, more details, keep an eye on our community tab about that 5k live stream that happened a little bit faster than we thought. And we just, as you can see, we just got back to our setup uh, today and uh, we got some other personal stuff to work out in the next couple days. So uh, we got to prepare a little bit more for that live stream. It'll be happening sometime later in the week. Keep an eye on our community tab and our Instagram for updates on that and uh, we'll keep you uh, appraised. But for those who don't know, when we hit 5k, we're planning to do a live stream and we have a bunch of announcements. We have Q and A's. We got a whole bunch of new things that we want to talk about you guys with the, the state of the channel with uh, the future of the channel with a bunch of other stuff that we'll uh, that we'll get into then but hope you guys enjoy this episode of Gleipnir keep an eye on our community tab all that stuff but we're gonna get right into this Gleipnir episode 11 anything else you want to say no let's go Ooh. 
back at it again. Oh yeah, because Elena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that cliffhanger on the last episode. Oh. Well, there's gonna be no intro, they're just doing all the... Yeah. It's an interesting perspective. It's an interesting argument for why she shouldn't do it. I called it from the beginning, by the way, that she wasn't fucking evil. Yeah. Like, from the first episode. I would have gone way farther away from <laughs> okay, I thought she meant with this relationship or something. Raising the stakes. It's because he's fucking dead. Bitch. <laughs> and we all showed our faces, so we're kind of fucked. This 7 Eleven is the most popular hangout for fucked up weirdos. Yeah. That's really rough. He did not sign up for that. Because that's the thing, his power is to give things life. But it was used to fucking kill everybody. Let's go back and kill them all. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> we were made for each other. When is the set? <laughs> that was a long fucking day. Jesus. What indeed? Yeah, he has a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he only the last time he was at it was fucking. <laughs> It's insane. How little time has passed. The fucking guy who's burying those dogs. What if he was... I knew it! I knew it! He's one of those creepers! He was out in the woods. They fucking killed him out there. <laughs> I wonder which one he was. Ouch. 
That's a crazy development that it just stopped right there. It's that blindfolded guy. ここで降りても誰も責めないし困らない。むしろ喜ぶかもしれない。あの、そばかすの素敵な彼女だってね。なんだかんだ言って、全て忘れて楽になれるんですし、持ってたらいただけますか君が望むなら、引き換えに元の
<laughs> Who is this? I don't know. Who is this person? <laughs> that's really interesting that that's how this started. Honoka. What was her wish? あなたのことを話せば協力してくれるけど、こう見えて人見知りなんで。ほら見て。大丈夫よ。みんな。ああ、オッケー。確かに。Those <laughs> Fucking Dragon Slayer over here. So, once again, just as we're doubting the show, <laughs> we are given exactly what we asked for in order to, like, get back into it. Jesus. Literally, even the smallest thing, like, he went back to school and back to his house. We were like, oh, you know, if only they would just, you know, b bring it back a little bit. Yeah. They literally immediately, <laughs> they just straight up did that. And they showed us, like, I said, oh, we need some more of Shuichi's character. Immediately we get, and I'm like, yeah, you know, we haven't really seen what Shuichi's been going through. And then we get a full-on fucking direct demonstration of exactly what he's thinking. Uh, that he is, uh, he's found a new devotion, and an, or a new resolve to uh, do what needs to be done to protect himself, Claire, and everyone else. He, he's, his, uh, his sort of reservations his moral reservations are starting to falter and he's willing to sacrifice the lives of his enemies and his own moral principles just in order to protect everyone else yeah uh and just in the coldest fucking way possible shoots a guy in the back after he's like internally bleeding trying to escape yeah he just literally shoots him in the back defeated that's insane. There's so much to talk about in this episode. It's staggering. Man, See, like, it it's so good. Like, since, I, I forget exactly how many episodes ago, but it, like, started getting good. And now it's, like, consistently just getting better and better. Each episode, they're, like, adding more to the mystery. But, like, they're, they're adding, they're building the world out in, like, a really gradual way. And then they're, like, bringing it back to yeah. the whole alien things. Like, we didn't really buy that whole weird, the coins are my friends. But judging by those flashbacks, it seems like that was, in Legit. fact, completely true. 100% yeah. true. Um, and he, like... The alien guy met this random girl from Earth, and she was like, I'm gonna help you out. I'm, not, I'm gonna get my friends, fucking Shuichi and Elena, plus some other guys, to also help. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's freaking weird. But then it, like, turned into, like, this weird game. 
of like yeah it was it started out completely innocent and normal of like oh well if you want like the best way to get people to help you out is to give them a reward obviously like if people have some kind of incentive they'll be more likely to you know help you out and get what do do what needs to be done little but and so like the competition wasn't even built into it uh consciously it was just a necessary consequence of giving people a task of giving people a reward that they yeah. that is beyond what the, what they like cuz to him it's just like oh well any wish and she's innocent enough to be like just oh well what can I, people I would, ask for like I, yeah. what people oh I'll, i wish for a fucking some money like that, that's yeah. all maybe they'll ask for that she probably isn't even thinking about what they would ask for or what or what the depths of what people could want it, like in a negative yeah. way you know, and yet neither was here. He because he's not like he, emotional. He's not, like yeah, that. he doesn't know what a human would desire, like what yeah. different types of humans would desire. He just knows this one girl, and he's read some books. Yeah. So, so he and he doesn't. He, he's obviously not a human, so he doesn't think the way that we do. So he's just like, oh well, I, if you'd say so. I mean, that makes sense to me. But like, I don't even. This whole eating thing, like, the whole, the whole needing things to survive, or having primal urges, or having uh, emotions and drives beyond just evolution uh, for the sake of it, is completely foreign to him. He's not even considering the possibility that they would want anything. And he was, like, so bored, apparently, because all of his... The, all the aliens were just, like, done with, with living. Yeah. They were just like, yeah... We have no purpose in life anymore. We're just going to be complacent just and just travel. And yeah, that's just, it. just fly around doing, doing literally, literally nothing. nothing. <laughs> literally becoming coins <laughs> 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 for, for no reason. Yeah. So that's that's and, and that's he insane. didn't even really want them back that much, but she just didn't want him to be lonely. But now it's almost like he's found this new like bit of entertainment. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it turned out not really the way he expected, and I do feel like, I, I mean, I don't, we don't know what he's capable of, like, processing, but he seems sad. I don't think he is. Well, I mean, he no. seems, well, what, what's the girl's name? H Hon Hon Honoka. Honoka. He seemed, like, I don't know, weird. He, I don't know if he, if he just f is he was, like, lonely attached with to her? Like, I feel like he was attached to her. Possibly, and he does, uh, like, the the form he takes does influence his, his yeah. emotions and actions, so the fact that he takes a human form, he feels hungry, and he he's like, what is this feeling of loneliness? And he, he like, misattributed it, so maybe yeah. he was feeling lonely in the human body, because the human body has a human brain, and the human brain can feel loneliness, and uh, so he, like, misattributed b being hungry and feeling alone, so, like... Maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe he did feel alone. Maybe he did get attached to her. But he is, like, he even said it himself. Like, when Shuichi was just like, don't you feel bad? Like, don't, what, what are you feeling right now? How can you just, like, I don't understand uh, why you would do this. And he's just like, hey, man, uh, me either. Like, I'm just, uh, what, you're you're talking to the wrong person. Like, I don't fucking care about any, any of this. Yeah. He's so, like, disconnected. But at the same time, yeah, he, he does seem... You're right, I guess. He, he does seem to be having like some Like, he was sort of, looking uh, up attachment. and he's like, is this really what you wanted yeah. like, from this life? I don't know what she could have wished for, because she's, like, now some weird spectral being with a huge sword. Well, okay. But I couldn't... What? I, you couldn't... What? I couldn't tell if that was that other guy's wish, and she, like, to just have, like, a fake version of her, or, like... I, or she... If that's actually her spirit. Yeah. Well, this goes back to my... Our theory on a, a Subaru and how he has his parents and the whole metamorphosis yeah. thing. There seems to be a way to um, merge beings together. And uh, it, it's different. There, it, th that specific thing was specific to Shuichi and uh, because of that that one magical circumstance, which I feel like was really underplayed by the show, mm -hmm. uh, which we've talked about before that it wasn't like as significant an event as we, I think it should, it wasn't treated as significantly as it, as it should have been because it was a once in a fucking lifetime thing, apparently. Well, or no, 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 no. It's just Cause Elena for said, him. yeah, just for him. But like super reacted like, Oh, this is metamorphosis. Oh yeah. Anyway, back to what we we're saying. So like, and we also, and Subaru calls his, stand his power uh the father and mother or whatever yeah and uh, they kind of protect him like parents in a way and they're like dead 
Yeah. So, like, and then there's uh, the metamorphosis thing, and now there's this guy who has a spectral Honoka sort of as a stand-type power looming over him in a spectral... Like, it, it looks like a ghost. Yeah. And so, then she like, had, like, blood, like, coming from her eyes, which is, like, the only thing that is, like, really making me believe that that is her, actually, because we have Coin Boy being, like, is this really what you wanted? And then her, like, weird spectral being, like, thinking, this is absolutely <laughs> not what I fucking wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you missed the armrest there. Um, yeah, so that's really interesting. But the fact that Shuichi has done a complete fucking... Well, he hasn't even done a 180. I feel like he's he's suppressing a lot of his emotions right now. Be- and he's sort of taking up the mantle of, like, a protector figure. Yeah. So it's going to come back to bite him emotionally when he maybe has a falling out with uh, Claire. Or, or he finds, finds out, out something about Elena. Or he finds out the backstory yeah. of what was actually going on. Yeah, so, like, this whole thing of l- killing all those people and killing his friend... And, uh, you know, his, he's, 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 he's a little bit disassociating right now. He's cause he's like protecting himself from, uh, from, from the actions that he's taking. Um, cause he, he really, at the heart, he is a really compassionate person, but he's being forced into situations that, uh, he was not prepared to deal with. And now he's finding ways to rationalize his behavior. Yeah. Um, and whether it's good or bad, I don't think. I don't think that, as far as his character, I don't think it really matters what he's doing is good or bad necessarily. It matters what, he, what in, it, in this case, it matters. It yeah, exactly. Him. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it matters that you know the fact that he's doing bad things is impacting him negatively. But what matters is that is how everything's impacting him and how he's dealing with it. Yeah, is what I mean to say. Also, Claire, the whole, like, actual relationship, not just the weird, like, I'm gonna go inside the costume and fight relationship, because Claire, because before he was, like, trying to make it sort of a normal, like, oh, we could go see a movie or, like, do something that normal people (laughs) do when they hang out, and she was kind of like, no, we're doing this, but now she's kind of like... Oh, we could we could go see, we could go see a movie or we could rent a movie at my place or you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, trying to like ex- I don't know they're like more on the same level now. It's not her dragging him along. They're kind of walking into it together at this point. Yeah, yeah, because he he clearly is feeling more affectionate to her. It's less a one sided relationship of like the power dynamic isn't as uh, one-sided because he's taking these actions alone yeah. and he's showing that he can act without her. That, that means that sh- she's not pulling his weight all the time, like in terms of whatever they're, they're fighting, fighting or, uh, you know, just their relationship in general. Mm-hmm. But then we have, what's but that's not necessarily y- a good y- thing. Y- Yoshioka. Her, yeah. Yoshioka. Yoshioka is like, I don't know. She's kind of annoying. Because she's very immature and very childish, mm-hmm. and it kind of pisses me off. Because I like I kind of like her and kind of want to feel bad for her, but she straight up just called Elena and did that whole thing, and did, she still hasn't Went told anyone everyone's about back, that. And she's trying to like bring it up to Shuichi to see to gauge his reaction and like see what he thinks. She's just being fucking dumb. She's just being really. Like, not, she's not, it doesn't feel like she's on anyone's team right now. She's not thinking of what's best for everyone and their safety. She's just thinking about her crush on Shuichi. And it's really fucking annoying because it's putting everyone in jeopardy as long as she keeps withholding all of this information. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know why she, she, the only reason that she's, that, that she would be withholding this information is because she, like, doesn't want to upset or, like, or, uh be seen negatively by by shuichi so she doesn't want to admit that she that she went behind his back and like understands his memory like that he's called his ex yeah basically (laughs) yeah yeah. and she has all the memories and she but also the reason why she doesn't want to tell him is because she knows that like if if it's the whole thing of like this weird like love square going on at this point with elena claire and yoshioka they're like what she's doing is she knows, she can see, that Claire and Shuichi are a thing right now. However, 
she knows by looking at Shuichi's memories that him and Elena were, like, actually a couple, like, for real, Mm -hmm. before this all went down. But if she tells him that, then, like, I'm, I'm assuming she's kind of worried about, like, if those memories come back, will he leave them and, like, just go That's do something else or become a different person? Yeah. Um, but it's 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 not rooted in that's bad for him. It's ro- or that that'll put him in danger. Or it's rooted in I don't want I don't want I don't want happen. that to happen because I have a crush on him and I don't want him to leave or I don't want him to change. Uh, I just want him to stay but like she, he is. He's already changing. He's already changing a lot, and I feel like maybe yeah. I don't. I, I'm now. I'm way more intrigued because seeing this kind of development in Shuichi. Makes me interested to see, once we get more insight into who he was before he lost his memories, if he's going to be more like a fucking crazy person. If, yeah. like, because he's, he's showing that he's more capable of, like, brutal shit um, for, you know, arguably noble reasons, but not for, not, not good, it doesn't make, it doesn't excuse his actions, but he's capable of doing brutal things. I mean, things. he killed a guy who's not even looking at anything and doesn't know what they well, actually can't look, look at like. anything. I know. He's but, blind. But, I mean, but what I'm saying is, it's not like that guy's gonna be like, oh, yeah, the kid that looks like the... Oh, yeah, it's you. Like... What are you saying? Oh, he like, he wouldn't be recognize, recognize him. them. What, what a roundabout and horrible way of saying th- that one word that explains exactly what you're saying. D- did you just define the word recognize... To explain the relationship <laughs> between sa- blind samurai and Shuichi. Um, yeah, basically I was just saying... Um, he about- can't recognize him. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> anyway. So yes, but... Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, you completely threw me off of what I was saying. Um... Shuichi's capable Oh, now. yeah, so who who was he beforehand? Was he just, like, kind of who he is now? Or d- is, is, is he going to go further down the rabbit hole of, like, making greater and greater sacrifices? Kind of like the uh, Elena's group is right now. Yeah. They're all, like, fucked up and, like, clearly have gone through some shit in pursuit of these coins. And lost Honoka, lost... There was another girl there who I don't know if she's around or if she... Hang on. Have we seen her before? I want to go find that picture. Of all of them. Yes. Oh, yeah, and then Shuichi finding out that the guy who he thought he was friends with, he didn't even know anything about. Yeah. That was, like, a big... Revelation, yeah. Yeah, I think... He, and he's I don't know if just... he's actually dead. I bet... I, I think he is. I think he's dead. I don't know if, like, everyone from there is dead. Oh, yeah, her. Yeah, I don't, uh, I know that the guy with the short black hair, he was wearing the hood, and he seemed like kind of the leader guy, and then, but this girl with the peace signs in the picture, I don't know about what her deal is. I don't remember seeing her anywhere. Claire? <laughs> that's not I fucking know Claire. I know that's not Claire. <laughs> um, it looks like Claire if she was, like, five. Whatever. <laughs> My point is, they've all clearly gone down the road that Shuichi is going down right now. That he, they're, they've all, like, completely given up on, like, any kind of, upholding any kind of moral standard in pursuit of their goal. They're completely devoted to finding where this road leads because it's kind of like a sunk cost of, like, mm-hmm. we've already done so much and, like, we're already this close and we, there's only, they, they seem like they're really close to their goal. So they're willing to make more sacrifices, but it seems like, uh. Shuichi was brought back to zero, and now he's climbing his way back to the psychological state that they're all in, and I think he's going to have to go back there if he's, like, he's going to go back to that place if he's going to, uh... Yeah, but it's also going to be... Solve this mystery, or, like, bring this all to an end, if that's what he's It's going to be to also interesting if he goes, like, too far. Yeah. And he, like, and then they look at him, and they're like, bro... You, we like <laughs> erased your memory so you, so that you didn't have to be do, dealing with this, and yeah. now you're like even more messed up than us, and we don't we don't want you anymore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then uh, that almost made me cry. When in you that, sow, mm-hmm. or or what? When at like the very beginning, he sow. Yeah, he's so cute. 
Like he's, I don't. He seems like he's young, like twelve. I think he's around. The, he's only like a couple years younger. I get well, than them. Th- how old are they? They're like, like 16, yeah, 17, 16? 18. 16 yeah. at the youngest, I think. Yeah. He, se- he seems like he's a little bit younger. Maybe 14. Maybe 14, he seems like. But he's just a sweet boy, you can tell. And that made yeah, me really I- sad. Yeah, I said it during the episode, but, like, his whole power is bringing things to life. And he was forced to use it to literally fucking kill, like, seven plus people. Six, at least five people died. But it seemed like there was way more people it there. It did seem like there was way more than I that. don't understand. Yeah, because, sorry, to distract from the tragedy of poor boy over here. He's so cute. Isao. Isao. He, I'm sorry, I can't do names. Okay, Isao is really cute. And he's, yeah, he's just very gentle. And he's like, he's straight up like the, this gentle giant. In, even in his, in his monster form. Like, in real life, he's small. Yeah. But... Even though he looks menacing in his monster form, he's he just creates things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, when they were talking about like at least five people died, there was and like I'm like fifty people. And then, and then it seemed like, like there was like, like, like twenty. But people. then he's like, I'm the only one left, and I'm like, so you're telling me there was six <laughs> mother? There was seven, including centipede guy. There was seven motherfuckers in that forest, and that's it. <laughs> I saw at least 20 people over the... But it's hard to... It's also hard to tell because they don't actually... Show them? Show them any distinct monster forms. It seems like... That's one of my gripes with the show is like... Especially with even this episode where they showed those like five... Four or five nobodies that got their heads sliced off. Yeah. They just don't even create a monster form. It's just like... You don't you don't have any thoughts as to what they would look like. Ever it's just if you're dumb or a, an expendable character, you instantly have a bullshit shadow but monster form. But Elena has that at, as But that's well, specifically so her. That's her that's, thing. I know that that's specifically her, but I'm wondering if there was something that she wished for that like manifested itself in that way and it was very common. I doubt it. I fucking yeah. highly doubt it. No. That's some bu- that's some bullshit anime. If it if that is the rationalization, that's such a stupid rationalization. I'm just going to come out and say it. That's a really stupid way to rationalize not having to create designs or animate characters uh that are like background characters because mm-hmm. it's it's laziness is what it is or lack of funding, whatever you want to call it. It's just it shows a lack of uh, care when you're when there's all these background characters and you give them all the same shadowy form with some red fucking glowing eyes in random places. It's kind of bullshit to me. Uh, but maybe they all maybe if, if yeah, who cares? I don't really care if there's a story reason for that. It's a shitty way to design your characters because um, that hasn't been explained. And yeah. even if they do, that's a really shitty way to to do that anyway. Uh, so that's one thing that I've that I've been kind of thinking about this whole time like really you couldn't have like made a creepy monster form for like two other dudes in the background yeah or something but yeah i guess but there was definitely more than five of them that's that's all like i'm gonna say <laughs> but there definitely was though because there was sent to be that guy there was madoka there was the weird like eyeball there was I, I, I can't think of them all, but I know that there was... There's definitely more than five. There's definitely more than five. There's 100% more than five. Because there was, like... Even in that thing where it was, like, Madoka in the front, and then it was, like, all his guys in the background, and then there was, like, a lot of there them. There wasn't a total of six or seven dudes behind him. <laughs> no. Max. Like, there was more than seven people in that group, uh, aside from, the, like, because aside the, from Monica. And, and also, they were, like... It's way, they were like, oh shit, we're way outnumbered here. But if there had been literally only seven of them, then, I, I mean, they would have at least stood more of a chance. I, I feel like. Anyway. Kind of sidetracked, but that was, that, that was just a w- weird thing. Yeah. Got a bit more of Elena this episode. A little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think that that's all I had to say about the episode, I think. Other than Elena, like, yeah, so I guess it was kind of bookended. That's an interesting thing, actually. I just get back to the start of the episode. It starts off with Elena coming to fucking shitface, uh, vending machine alien man over here. Um, she's coming there and saying, like, end this now. Please make it stop. If I kill you, will it make it stop? And then he's like, I don't know, maybe who's to say it's kind of gone out of my hands and then 
midway through, Shuichi comes there and he's just like, why are you doing this? And then at the end, they show, oh, this is why I'm doing this. I actually had no bad intentions at all. But it's kind of out of my hands and I can't, I could stop it technically if I really wanted to. But uh, I don't see a point in that personally. And, uh... And then it and it it just and then it shows just what, his whole reasoning. So like there's multiple points even in this episode where they're like, "Can you just fucking stop?" And he's just like, "I mean maybe, but it doesn't. Re- it's not really my f- like. It's kind of. It's. I mean, it's his. It's. Is it his fault? That's an interesting question. Is it? Is he at fault for this? Because he just presented them with like a basic, a super basic thing. He didn't even intend for it to be, uh, like a, a competition. He just said, you get a wish if you give me a coin, and you get a bigger wish if you give me a hundred. That's literally all he did. Mm -hmm. But I would like to point out that this guy right here, we don't know his name yet, but the guy who, uh... Spiky orange hair. Yeah, Who had Hanukkah as a... Yeah, what about him? Yeah. He said, no, you guys can't take any of the coins that are here at the crash site. Yeah. But... If there were so many coins at the crash site, and if Honoka and, like, Shuichi and Elena, like, if they, they were originally all working together yeah. to get the coins. They still are. I know, but they were, they were working together what are you saying? specifically to get the coins for their friend alien guy. But now they're like, we're just going to leave these coins here, but you can't have them, so we're going to murder you if you come close. Um, Is that what they're saying? Even now, it pains me slightly to kill good people. Go a bit back more than that. Good. I was going to kill you anyway. Back? Why? Yeah. I have to ask you to leave. I cannot allow you to take any of, take these coins. Maybe they're just storing them there. Maybe. But they keep saying that they have a hundred. Yeah. Maybe but that's if... literally. Maybe yeah. Maybe they're keeping everyone at bay. From getting the 100 coins, they don't intend to spend it and use it. They just want to... They just want to keep everyone else from... any Anyone else from getting that power. Yeah. So, that that seems... That seems... That tracks for me, I guess. Maybe that's their I goal. D- I don't so, know. in which case, it's the exact same as uh, what Shuichi is trying to do. In which case, what, what I was saying earlier was seems to be sort of correct. Yeah, it's just this sort of... It seems like there was something that happened and now there's like a different goal it's not we're gonna collect these coins for my friend the alien it's we don't want anyone to have these coins even ourselves kind of maybe shuichi or honoka or other girl or somebody went on like a rampage or like uh there's some sort of incident caused by one of them maybe that's why other girls not there Maybe that's why Honoka's fucking swallowed up by this dude, uh, being used as, like, a stand. Maybe that's why Shuichi lost his memories. There was some sort of event that caused them to shift their goals um, from, let's just find the coins, to we have to protect the world from the power that these coins possess. Like, it's kind of like the opposite of Dragon Ball, where Dragon Ball, it's like, you get a wish if you collect seven Dragon Balls or scattered all over the world. Anyone can do it, but the characters in dragon ball aren't necessarily like i mean i guess they kind of are in some arcs but they're more like i want to get my wish or i want to find this i want to go on this adventure uh it's it's not usually like oh it is now that i'm thinking about it it is kind of like in the frieza arc they're keeping the the dragon balls away from frieza but like this is sort of a a rethinking of that whole idea of maybe our adventure isn't what matters maybe it's maybe people just aren't fucking ready for this kind of power and like because alien guys species has evolved to the point they gave up their desires and everything they evolved to the point where they literally became coins <laughs> <laughs> they became they gained the power to create and uh you know uh enact any change that they wanted in the universe and but they in order to do that they had to give up the the will to do it essentially like they have the yeah. ability to do it but they became enlightened to the point that they don't even have material desires at all uh so yeah they could they could literally they could do anything but why would they yeah exactly so but humans aren't like that we we can't create anything but we want everything they there's different sides different sides of the coin (laughs) haha uh but yeah 
So that, that's actually really interesting. This was the ep fucking Tower of This happened with Tower of God, too. Like, we were just, we were starting to be like, okay, Jesus, what's, what the fuck is going on? Why am I, wa like, not why am I watching it? It's enjoyable, again. But, like, what's, what are you give trying me, to get across throw me here? a fucking bone here. Like, what's actually going on here? Now, this, ep this is the exact episode we needed to, like, get reinvested in this story. Exactly. And, like, gave us character. It gave us story. It wasn't just bullshit plot for this arc and, like, introducing all this new shit. It's actually showing us the consequences and uh, using those to set up um, the characters that were, go that were slowly being introduced to more and more and learning more about. Yeah. It's really, it's showing a, a, a more of a care for the story that's going on rather than just, ooh, they merged and it's a crazy fight and ooh, uh, fucking, uh, Sanbei and he's a big demon guy and he can slice his dude in half all this crazy shit and it's like there's actually a story here not just fights yeah. not just sex not just fuck like you know there's something more going on and I'm so glad that they finally clarified the alien coin thing because I they because they mentioned it like that one time and then no one was like damn isn't it crazy that there's like aliens you yeah. know what i mean it was just they were just like oh he's an alien and all these coins are aliens and they just accepted it yeah and it was never exactly. brought up again yeah, yeah, yeah. which is what made me see think it was like a lie or like just weird yeah but now it's like okay so it's confirmed and it wasn't just him making up this weird game as some kind of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a bit more grounded and it gives more of a stance yeah. to, for, it gives more of a ground for everything else to stand on if we at least know the basics of what's physically going on in this world. 100%. Alrighty. With that, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, hope you check out our previous Glaivemir reactions. I uh, hope you enjoyed our discussion. I feel like we had a pretty good one this time. Glaivemir is finally getting good again. Um... So we hope you enjoyed. Hope you subscribe. Almost at 5K. Uh, once we hit 5K, we're, we're having a special live stream later in the week, probably. It depends if you guys all unsubscribe and artificially make us not hit 5K. Then I guess that's a thing. But uh, <laughs> uh, hope, we hope you subscribe because we're, we're excited to give you guys a bunch more content, a bunch more stuff. Um, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you check out our other ones. Uh, check out our Kaguya reaction. Check out all the other stuff we got. And stay tuned for our community tab to see that uh live stream announcement and uh follow our instagram at boldcast media follow our backup channel at uh boldcast backup on youtube i'm carson i'm Lindsay. see you in the next one bye, -bye.